I like to work with the Scottish Ensemble. They are open for uh, new adventures. It's the only group I met that has that sort of ambition of, of trying new things and, and the only group I met that dares to do that because it's sort of it's scary to go outside of your f normal frame. We have all enjoyed working with Arian since day one really and I think what he brings is an incredible a sort of enabling quality. He has a way of making people feel comfortable in these quite challenging uh, environments, what can be challenging. But then I think more importantly, he has a sort of incredible uh, intuitive musical understanding and is very uh, reactive to musical ideas. Um, so that's for me especially a really an important part of our collaborative work. The kind of importance of memorizing music whilst working with a choreographer is obvious because we need the freedom to move, but I think there's, there's more to it than that because what the memorizing process can bring is a kind of, you become more aware and conscious of your, of your body because you're not kind of uh, even just looking at just one thing, which is the printed part or uh, so you, you become somehow more at one with with the whole physicality of playing, which is which is a big which is a big deal actually, and we forget that I think often we don't realise how physical what we do is. I think there's something though that it reminds me of playing more as a kid when you know before you got used to sitting still or standing still when you perform. I think I used to wander around quite happily playing when I was younger. So there's there's something in some of the movement that feels quite natural, and then some of it I have to really it's like a, another layer of memorization as well, which is, you know. That can feel stressful, I suppose, yeah. No, but no, we're chill. But we're fine. <laughs> We've got this. We're chill. We're chill. We talked about having two very contrasting works, and I think for Oyan as a choreographer, that's an interesting concept to play with, having just two big entities, and then how do they relate to each other? The choice of Shostakovich and Tchaikovsky, um, I mean, they're just incredible pieces of music for, from the string repertoire and part of the thinking behind these kind of collaborative projects is to take a piece that is quite familiar both to the players and to the audiences and kind of reimagine it because uh, I think that certainly in you know the work we've done with the Goldberg Variations that was a, a good example of taking a, a well-known piece but then completely doing something very new with it. So that's something we, yeah, we love doing.